Hello there folks. We're going to continue on with our class exercises here and show you how to write a simple program on how to control the AC logic. So uh, in this example we're going to navigate over to the left and go to programs on the left and we're going to go ahead and create a new program by clicking this button right here, the new program button. And we'll go ahead and rename this program for example AC underscore logic. Now the example or the goal of this exercise is to determine uh, anytime the temperature goes above some high set point then we will turn on an air conditioner and then in theory as the air con as the uh, temperature drops and we're going to put in this example a low set point when it drops below the low set point we will turn off the air conditioner so out here in this section here is where you can write your C like code right here and I'll just put uh, a little text here by putting a couple forward slashes and uh, type something like uh, check to see if temperature is above high underscore set point. Obviously I don't have a tag yet called high underscore set point, but I will here in a second. So I'll enter and go down the next line and I'll just say if, open parentheses. It's easy uh, folks to take your tag over here on the right side and just drag it in here. You can also type it but what I've noticed in a lot of my classes that uh, students will accidentally type it wrong and or you could have tags that are in folders and subfolders so it's a lot easier to just grab the tag and drag it over which will bring the folder and subfolders with it. So I'm going to say if temperature and I always do a space is greater than or equal to let's say high underscore set point like so and parentheses end so we're saying here is if Sorry, my pointer's not working too well. If this equation is true, then we're going to do some stuff in here. So in class, I've been teaching that normally in the C programming, the very next line would be the statement that it executes. But in this case, I'm going to tab over, and I'm going to do the open brackets, which is the shift and the key directly to the right of the letter P as in Paul. Enter, 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 over, and shift and close. So anything between these two brackets is what will, it, will, it will execute when the temperature is above the high set point. So in this case, I'm going to do another text here. Say turn on, whoops, hold on here team, on the AC. So then I'll go here, AC space one equal sign will assign the value. Two equal signs will ask the question. So I'm just going to do one equal sign there. I'll put my cursor down here like this, enter, enter. So according to the logic here, if temperature goes above a high set point, it'll turn the air conditioner on. Okay, so the theory would be the air conditioner is running. Hopefully the room is getting cooler. So then I'll say down here in the second part, well, let's do this. Check to see if temperature is below low set point. All right, so then I'll do if, open parentheses. I'll drag that temperature guy right down here again like that space less than low set point like so end parentheses that's the end of the if question there enter tab across open brackets enter 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 tab across close brackets and then I'll say here boom boom turn the or turn off the AC uh, whatever I just leave AC enter and go AC one equal sign zero semicolon enter all right so that should take care of the logic notice right now that over here I don't know why that pointer tool is doing that right there you see that how that diamond right there is kind of yellow anytime that you write program in here you always have to compile or translate your database so this button right here is the translate button it only shows up when you click out in this window here. If you click over here, it does not show up. You have to click in the program area. So I'll click here, see it's there. If I click over here, it disappears. This little checkbox right here, boom. So I'll hit that button, watch what'll happen now. So it's gonna bark at me and say, oh, you got a new tag here called high set point that currently we don't have listed over here in our data tag. So what I really like about Crimson 3 is you have the ability to add tags on the fly you don't have to define you can define them but in this case you can add them right on the fly here so this is going to be an integer tag because I need to be a, a variable and I'm going to click the yes button down below here 
All right, so it's going to continue compiling the database. Now it gets to the next thing it hasn't discovered. Well, AC in this example is going to be a on-off tag. So instead of it being an integer like this, I'll hit the pull down, I'll change it to a flag tag. I said that wrong. Uh, instead of being an integer, it would be in multiple numbers. A flag tag would be on off. That's what I want to use here. So I'll click yes in this mode here. And then the last part is the low set point. It's going to be an integer because it needs to be a number. I'll say yes to that. And look, if everything is compiled correctly, you should get either a green or a gray diamond, depending on how you're using the program. Green or gray is good. Yellow means it hasn't been translated. Red means it has errors. So at this point, we're good here. Now I'm going to want to check this program or call it uh, once a second. So I'm going to go over here to the left and click on display pages on the left. Here's our actual program we've been building. And I'm going to click on the word pages up above here. And as we've talked about in other pro applications, you got your power up, startup, tick, and on update. In this case, I want to call this program once a second in the on tick field. So I'm going to go over here to the lower right hand side and click programs on the right side and simply grab that AC logic and drag and drop it out here into the on tick field. That's going to run that program once a second. Now here's my display page. Obviously for this logic to work, I need to put my tags on the screen, my high and low set points, and also my air conditioner. So I'm going to go over here to the right and click on the data tags on the right. And I'll grab my high set point and I'll drag it, say, in this area right here. And I'll grab my low set point and I'll place it, say, right here, for instance. Yeah, I'll do it right here. And I'll make these guys be a little bigger like this. And if you remember from the class, you always have this little shortcut. If you click away where you don't have focus on anything, then just hover over this guy and click one time. You get the ghosted box. This box right here is the data entry. So I need to make that data entry. And I'm going to make the font much bigger. And I'm going to bold it as well. I'm going to make this guy bigger here like this. And you know what? I'm not going to bold that team. I'm going to turn off that bold. There we go. All right. If you want to copy all those attributes to the other one, you can simply right click on the other guy and go copy from and select all formatting. Notice the trailing X. It's asking you who do you want to copy it from. This guy right here. So when I click on low set point, watch what happens. Here we go. Boom. It copied all that data entry, font size, and so forth, but it didn't copy the same size as the box. So now I'm going to right click on this thing and go to same size as, fourth thing from the bottom, same size as, click on it, then click on the low set point, and now I got that guy is the same size as that. However, we have to fix a couple things because in previous programs we set the formatting up here to have three and one. So I'm going to go over to the left, actually, before I go. Let me drag AC out here as well so you can see the air conditioner guy on here. So that'll put the status of that. Let's go over here to the left and click data tags on the left. I need the formatting of my high and low set points to be the same of that as temperature. Remember this from temperature? We gave it three and one here in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the high set point. Watch this trick. I'll click on the high set point. And then I'm going to hold the control key down, the CTRL key hold the control key down and click on low set point. That lets me individually select tags on the left and then I will right click on them, either one of them, doesn't matter which one, and I will go to the copy from and I'm going to select copy format and then I'm going to click on the temperature tag. And as you can see it should have copied the formatting over to those other tags. Let's just check our work by clicking here, going to format, yep got three and one here however I really am not a fan of this here in this case so I'm gonna change on my high set point hit the pull down here to general I'm gonna say 800 is the minimum on it and the maximum I'll put in here say 1000 and then I'll click on the low set point over here and I'll do we'll say 600 on it which is 60.0 to 800 for instance here All right, that should take care of that. Okay, let's go over here to display page on the left. Notice the screen. It's already got those icons set correctly. I'm going to go ahead and uh, download this to my screen. Here we go. And if we go look at our web page here, team. 
all right here's our web page uh, you can see here we've got we're currently reading about 80 degrees in here notice right now the air conditioner is on because we have not really put any high and low set points in here so I'm gonna go ahead and cool my thermocouple down maybe not that cold I put it in a cup of glass of ice but let's put a low set point here let's say 78.3 for instance and let's say the high set point if we go above 84 degrees it should turn it on so let's see here if I squeeze the thermocouple and if I go above notice the air conditioner is currently off right now if we go above the 84 degrees we should see this go on within one second because every second we're checking that temperature so here we go boom there it goes on see that little delay and then as it cools down once it cools below 78.3 see if I can get it to cool down here we should see the air conditioner goes off and there it is it certainly went off so that's a simple example of how you can uh, use the program section to do simple logic inside the Redline HMIs. We're going to continue building on that, but I just wanted to show that off to you here as part of what we do in our class. Thanks a lot. If you got any questions, please let your local Redline guy know, and we'll get you fixed up. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.